name is Franz Antelli. I am a painter. I'm having a show at the FM Gallery on July 17th at 6 to 9 p.m. I work in acrylic, spray paint. My work is abstract, modern, influenced by hard edge painters. This piece is called Bisected Toy. When I was doing this one, I was noticing that it reminded me of a pinball machine. I'll make a painting like this and I'll, and I'll think, oh wow, it's like a pinball machine. But I'm not thinking, oh, I'm gonna make something that looks like a pinball. It just comes out that way. But one obvious thing is just, I like to think of my art as being in, in a really wide context, like a universal context. It's not, um, it's not something specific to one place where only a certain group of people are going to get it. Anybody can get this because it's, we're, it's, it's sort of like kind of maybe an idea that we're all under the same stars. And, and I like to use ideas that are sort of understandable by, by anyone in a way. I have been doing something that in, involves uh, patterns ever since I can remember. I was always obsessed with patterns, even as a child. My work is really abstract now, but I've gone through phases where, where I was doing really abstract stuff. And then I would do like stuff that involved recognizable imagery, but it would be patterned surreal imagery. And that's because I was doing a lot more representational type of work. And now, I'm really a lot more into abstraction. I'll probably always do a little representational stuff here and there for myself, but yeah. it's all about abstraction, pretty much for me. I guess one of the things that I really loved when I was a kid is Fisher-Price mm -hmm. stuff. And there was this bubble toy. It was on a stick, and it was a bubble with little colored balls inside it and you would roll it and the balls would bounce around inside the bubble. And I just, I just found it really beautiful. <laughs> and I've actually, that idea, oddly enough, has sort of popped into my work here and there, probably multiple times. And I just kind of also love polka dots. Well, the candy that I'm thinking about most when I'm doing when I'm doing this kind of stuff, because my work is literally influenced by candy, is colorful candy. You know, like a Lifesavers package, the way it had like just the rainbow stripes of color. Or and and you would expect me to say Mike and Ike's, but I'm not thinking about Mike and Ike's. I, yeah. But people tell me, oh, that looks like Mike and Ike's, and and I get that. There's different things that sunk into my consciousness at a very early age that was like, I like that. But yeah, I do actually love candy. It's just another symbol for me of childhood, which is actually one of the main things in my art about being young, innocent, open. I, I have really vivid, intense dreams. I get a lot of ideas from my dreams. And I'm also just really fascinated by dreams. It's, it's another thing where there's, you know, mystery and possibility and unexpectedness. Some of my happiest moments are probably when I'm painting. So I wake up in the morning, I paint all day long, 